ever found yourself totally captivated by someone like they are the missing puzzle piece to your life's jigsaw You're so hot we all been there right that exhilarating rush of attraction that feels like a gravitational force pulling you closer it's like you move mountains just to make them yours but what if i told you that there is a way to make them want you without the chasing game welcome to eternal amour today we're diving into the brilliant insights of matthew hasse matthew hasse is a renowned dating coach and relationship expert who's here to guide us on this journey trust me you're in for a treat in this video he reveals the most common mistakes we make when we're head over heels for someone special we'll explore why the urge to chase can actually work against us and what we should do instead So whether you are currently in a whirlwind romance or still searching for that special someone, this video is packed with wisdom that could change your approach to dating forever. By the end of this video, you'll have the tools to make them want you without ever chasing them again. Let's get started. Most common mistakes that we make when we're really excited about someone, we're attracted and we want to bring them closer to us. We want to turn it into something lasting and maybe we feel like that person is either a little bit out of reach or we feel like we're not entirely sure of how they feel about us and we find ourselves investing more and more in them to try to secure the relationship in the process what happens is the things that are important in our life right now whether it's our friends our family our hobbies the things that give us a sense of value and identity in our lives those things start to fade into the background as we make this person the focus of all of our attention why do we do this well when we really want to find love and we suddenly meet someone who seems to epitomize everything we've been looking for we've decided based on this person's qualities characteristics what they look like how they act that this is the love we've been looking for all of a sudden it feels like there is nothing more important in the world than securing this thing and we do the one thing in this moment that is the opposite of what we should be doing we should be grounding ourselves in the things that are important in our own life connecting to these things that give us a sense of worth outside of a person and yet we lose connection with all of those things and we get drawn into the gravitational pull of how do i please this person how do i make this person mine how do i make them want me that instinct to try harder when we want to get someone is actually an instinct that works against us because someone doesn't become more attracted to us or want us more simply because we're trying harder when they feel us trying harder and for some people it makes them kind of pull away a bit or it makes them feel like they can pick us up and put us down whenever they want it makes them feel like they're in control the whole time it makes us even more anxious and then we drift even further from these other things that matter in our life in an attempt to double down on the energy that we're putting into this person when we value more than anything else the idea of finding a person to share our lives with and then we meet a person who represents that dream in the flesh all of a sudden we'll do anything to make that happen even if it means losing or ignoring all of these other important parts of our life and of course when we ignore certain things we lose connection to them and they don't feel as significant anymore and of course when we divest in them they start to shrink because they're not getting love and attention from us anymore what we have to do which is very counterintuitive when we find something we really want is double down on the meaning that we get from these other areas of our life things that if you value them will not only bring you a sense of perspective in your life where you go oh my life is so much bigger than this one area these things are incredibly important to me and i have those to fall back on if we do that it's like having legs under the table i want you to imagine that here's your confidence it's like a tabletop and that tabletop is supported by these pillars or legs under the table and each one of those legs 
is a different part of your life that gives you strength, that gives you meaning, that gives you purpose, that gives you love. Now, those are all the things that when we meet someone, we want to come with those legs already strong under the table. So at the very time that we feel like we found the dream person, that's when we have to double down on the areas of our life that support the table. Because when that happens, we're able to go into that situation as someone's equal, knowing that if it doesn't work out, I'm good. I got legs under the table, right? You can break. I've got more legs under the table. I don't need to beg. I don't need to try harder than is reasonable. I don't need to keep chasing you. I'm just gonna bring you my best, show you this wonderful life I've created, and if that's not enough for you, and if you don't give me enough, I don't need this. I like to think of confidence the same way we think of FU money. You know, when we think of someone who has FU money, what we really describe there is someone who has so much money that they can say no to anything that isn't right for them. Well, FU confidence is when you have so many sturdy legs supporting the table of your confidence that if someone comes along that isn't right for you, either because they treat you badly or because they don't invest in you or they show that they're not sure of you or because you're not sure of them, you are able to say, no, thank you, I'm good because you have so many other things in your life that give you meaning and richness and love and importance. You don't need that person, no matter how sexy they may be. 